break every yoke, Lord God. He's been merciful to me. Yes, Lord. Gave me another chance and another opportunity. Yes, I just thank the Lord, yes, Lord that I'm able to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 I don't take it for granted. I don't, I, don't, I don't take it for granted. But God has been good to us. Yes, he and he's been merciful yes. to me. And I tell you, I just thank God for that. I thank God for he let us be able to come back in the building. Amen. Some black man say no, but God said yes. Yeah. God said yeah. yes. And I tell you, I, I just thank God for I heard so many want we'll to say something about Bishop this morning. And Bishop was determined that we was coming back into the building. Okay. Bishop would leave Diana. And where a lot of people go home and have to go to bed, he would come home and take a bath and come to the church. And the man that was working on the church, he said, I've never seen a pastor like him. He said, he dedicated to the church. He said, he, he, he come over here and he wanted to make sure what we were doing and when we were going to do it. But I said, God is just good, y'all. God is good. You know, some, sometimes people can tell a story, but they can't tell the whole story. Bishop was dedicated to this church. I'm going to tell you, when Bishop started out in this church, it was in a lot of debt, y'all. It was in a lot of debt. When Bishop come in, him and Deacon Owen mostly paid the debt. Now, we did some, but they mostly took their money and paid the debt in this church. And I say, God is just good. They paid that debt, and Bishop say, I couldn't chop, I'd never go in debt no more. Never owe nobody nothing no more. And as long as we've been here, we've never owed nothing on this church. No more. Everything the bishop had did him, he paid for it on time. When he got through being dead, he paid for it then. You know, when we first started breaking the church, I said, well, you going in there again? He said, no, I'm going to break this church and I'm going to pay for it cash. And that's what he did. He break the church, he paid for it cash. But God is just good. You got to be dedicated to whatever you're doing. Right. If you ain't dedicated to what you're doing, you'll keep the church in debt. And, and Bishop was determined that we would go back in the church. And even when the virus come out, we never missed a service, y'all. We had service out door. Everybody else door was closed. We were having service out door. When they say that 10 people could come back in the church, we were back in the church. It was more than 10 of us in here, but we were back in here. <laughs> but God is good. We never stopped serving them, y'all. All the things that the other churches stopped, we never stopped serving them. We fixed the place and took them to the car. Amen. We never stopped serving them all of a sudden. Say, God, but God is good. You got to be determined of what you're going to do and when and how you're going to do it. But Bishop was dedicated to this church. And... He was dedicated to the people. And he won't lack a lot of pastors. Tell their wife everything. He always tell me, you find out when they find out. <laughs> See, me and him had a good understanding. I could laugh about it. See, some people say, well, he wouldn't have told me that. But he treated me just like I was a member, like he did the rest of them. If he said he won't do something, I said, what are you going to do? He said, you find out when the rest of them find out. <laughs> that was fine with me. Because as long as I was home, I was his wife. But when I was here in this church, I was a member here. That's, right. that, that's where pastor's wife get mixed up. They feel like days to pass. But you can't have a one pastor in the church. That's right. You can't have a one pastor in the church. If you got two people that make a decision, you're going to run into a shipwreck, y'all. My Lord. But God is good. I just said all that because this shit was dedicated to this church. And he would determine that we were going to go back in. And, and, and when he had, when the church got burnt, we were wondering which way we going to go. And I say, I'm not going in nobody else's 
church. I say it is. I say, I'm not going in nobody else's church. Bishop said, let me make a phone call. Bishop made a phone call, and he used to work for this lady father. The woman said, oh, you can get in the building. You ain't got to pay me nothing. You ain't got to pay for no light bill. You ain't got to pay nothing. Just stay there as long as you want. God's good. It's good to live so. Some you can find favor with somebody, y'all. But you got to live so you can find favor with people. But I say God is good because if y'all know if it would have been one of us, you know we wouldn't have let them just go in that building. <laughs> Not pay no rent, no light bill, no nothing. We would have had to get us some dollars. <laughs> you think y'all know it, so. The first thing you would say, well, let me see what, let me think about what I'm going to charge. Mm, yeah. But God, God, I'm telling you, God has been good to us. And yes, Lord. Today, the first time I've been here, I've been over here about it every day this week. Me, Tyrell, Mother, Donnie, we've been over here. Tyrell been playing Bishop's sermons. <laughs> So we've been hearing sermons all week long. But God is good. God, God has just been good to us and merciful to us. I said, if you live right. I was sitting there this morning, I was thinking about a message. Bishop, Lord, to preach sometime. Let you out into the deep. You can't get, you, 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 if you stay around shallow water, you a fish, you're going to die. So you got to let you out into the deep so you can grow with God. You can't, you can't play around the shallow water, because God don't play. God is a just God, but God don't play. And Bishop always told us, y'all stand on what you were taught. Don't change. No matter who come in, no matter what they do or what they say, I'm not looking for Clinton Chapel to change. Amen. You got, you got to stand, stand on. If you start changing, you're going to make a mess. Amen. But God has been good to us, y'all. That's Amen. enough for that. And I thank God for all the visitors. Miss Alina, her family, thank God for this. Yeah. I just thank God, thank yeah. God for my grandchildren. Yeah. I got, I don't know how many grandchildren I got here. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, I got three, four, five. I got five great grands. One, two, three, three, four. I got five great grands in here. I got two, three, four, five. <laughs> Five, five, five. <laughs> 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 you better get the blooming sometimes, don't you? But God, but God, God is good. God, God is good. They, see, my children got more children than I have. That's why I got so many grandchildren. <laughs> but God is good. Got my daughter-in-law in here today. Nieces. A uh, friend told me Saturday. He said, Mom, I've been calling them until they need to come to church. I said, some saved people don't tell people they need to come to church. Right. <laughs> he said, I've been calling them they, they need to come to church. So God, God is good. So I see they here this morning. Right. And uh, Yasmin, she had to work. But her grand, her children were dropped off here. Right. So I, I tell you, I just thank God for God being who he is and what he is in our life. And God's going to do great things, y'all. Yes, yes. God's going to do great things. <laughs> and I'm glad to see Missy here. I'm sitting there trying to think of her name. I said, now, I know I know a long she was here at the church. Kim is in her mom. Kim. 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 <laughs> that was the name I was trying to think of. Kim. That's Mother Purgis' niece. And great niece. Great. Amen. God is good to see them back in the house of the Lord. When she came, but I knew who she was when she came in because she was singing on the little quiet. Yeah, I, I knew who she was when she came in. But God is God has just been so good. To leave home. Right, and you can go back on that. Right. Now, this is what I had to preach this morning. But God wants me to preach it for a reason. Amen. We're going to preach about the rock this morning. All right. See, sometimes we, we own the rock, but we got to get the rock in us. And we get the rock in us, we can live right, y'all. But we got to get the rock in us. Sister Jackson, Matthew 16, and uh, started the 17th verse. Do 19. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. 17. Yeah. Okay. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bar John, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock 
I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. Now, now, now Jesus took and built on Peter, but he put the rock in Jesus, in Peter. He didn't put Peter on the rock, but he put the rock in Peter so Peter could live right. See, Peter, Peter had did a lot of things, but Peter was in sin. Peter was in self when he thought he was looking out for Jesus, y'all. See, sometimes we get things mixed up. And we were talking about how good Peter is. Peter was a devil. Peter started out as a devil. But Peter thought he was doing right. And that's just like some of us in the church house. We think that we're doing right. But until you get the rock on the inside, you'll never be able to live right. You'll never be able to walk right. So we got to tell God to be on us. No matter what we've been through, how far we went, but we got to tell God, but I need the rock in me so I'll be able, be able to stand in the last days. God want us to stand, y'all. You can't do in and everything and go in and everywhere and think that you got the rock. Oh, God don't deal in sin. God don't play with sin. The only way God deal with sin, he get rid of it. If you got sin in you, you want God to get rid of it. God will get rid of it.
And I told him in Sunday school this year too, you can have a weak Holy Ghost or you can have a strong Holy Ghost. It's, it's called how much you fast and pray. So some people got weak Holy Ghost. Everything running around, slobbing at the mouth, wiping all over you, and instead of just doing like God say, touch the head. They rubbing you all up and down. It ain't of God. Because when God built on Peter, Peter had the power that he needed, y'all. And we're supposed to have the same power. But we got to tell God to put it in us. And we was in a service and the lady say, uh, about Peter being on the rock. But I was sitting there and the, and the Lord spoke to me, say the rock got to be in you. Jesus is the rock, y'all. He is the rock. And if he ain't in you, you might make a mistake. But when you get God in you like you supposed to, now I'm talking about like you the real God. I ain't talking about all this stuff you're running from church to church, picking up all kinds of spirit. When you get the real God in you, you'll be selling that. You'll get rid of that running spirit. Now, don't get me wrong, ain't nothing wrong with visiting church. But when you get a running spirit, and if you get one thing about the Holy Ghost, I don't care who get up and get to call themselves speaking in some kind of tongue. You got enough of power to set it. You got enough anointing to override. But God said, told the people, say, upon this rock, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell. That lets you know the devil can't do no more than God left. He said the gates of hell should not prevail. Even if the devil come up to it, the devil ain't got no power against God. He ain't got no power against God. Jesus. God got all power in his hand. And he told Peter, say, whatever you bind on earth, I'm abandoning in him. And whatever you lose. Peter had the, the power to make the right decision. We got to tell God to revelate our mind. Give us the mind that Christ Jesus has. Yes, yes. That's the mind that we need. The mind that Christ Jesus yes. has. But God is good, y'all. God is good. I, you know I like that. I say, I want God to be able to feel on me. Yes. I want to walk up right. I want to live right. Yes. I want to talk right. Yes. I want to act right. Yes. So God to feel on me. Yes. But like I said, I want to be able to use what God say I supposed to have. If he say I supposed to have that power, uh -huh. I won't be able to have. Amen. I want the anointing. Without the anointing, you will believe it or not, you're dead. Because you need the anointing. Yeah. It don't come a time uh, you will need to lay your hands uh, yes. on your own self yes, yes. and tell God uh, whatever it is. Doing. You need to be at the 
church house and you sitting up somewhere else. My Lord. Amen. But I'm talking about God building on us. God need to, we, we need to let God build on us. We, 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 we're not taking no sin and your help. Because we got to get life on the flight, child. God gave me that back months and months before Bishop died. Get life for the flight. I say, Lord, I'm getting life for the flight. I tell the Lord, help me to look over everything. Everybody. And see him. My Lord. Everything. Help me to put things in respect. Don't let me fall apart over everything. Amen. A lot of people thought I was supposed to fall apart when Bishop died. But God said, no. I got it. God told me he got me. Jesus. And he got me now. Thank God. My bishop went in the hospital. My prayer was, God, whatever I got to go through, let me go through with grace. And don't let my head drop. Jesus. Don't let my enemy see my head down. But God, keep my head up. And I tell you, God did. Yes. God, hold back the tears. Yes. God, hold back the heartache. Yes. Every time I start feeling bad, all I have to do is say, Jesus. Jesus. And I can finish prayer. God got me, y'all. But we got to live from God at home. God don't want us to play church, but God want us to be the church. This building is the building, but God want us to the church. I tell people the church don't hurt you. If somebody hurts you, they ain't the church. But we is the church. People say, oh, I say this, I say that. You say what you want to say. But if you say anything that you want to say, you don't have the church on the inside of you. My Lord. My Lord. God ain't got no foolish in it. But Peter, I, I, like, I like that scripture about Peter. But Peter, let God be on him. And I think about Brother Hezekiah. Brother Hezekiah, it didn't say what Brother Hezekiah did, y'all. But it did say that God won, won Hezekiah. Then he better get his house in order. And God want us to get our house in order, y'all. Yes, he couldn't. Whether you like it or not, your number is going to come up. Yeah. And you better be ready. Jesus. And here the guy, being a man of God, I say, I say, he know God. I say, he know what he ain't going to do for God. Mm -hmm. So, brother, here's the guy, tuck and turn. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need to turn, y'all. Turn yes. on our weekend way. Yes. Here's the guy turn. Told God. Now you know. You know how I walked on the phone. Uh -huh. We can go to God with the same prayer, y'all. Yes, we can. We can. We live like we go to God. Say, God, I'm calling in a favor. Mm -hmm. I don't call in so many favors from God. God, I tell God, I say, God, I'm living all that I know how. And I need a favor from you, God. I need you to come to my rescue. Jesus. And I tell you, God, come. Yes. God, yes. come if you want him to come. But you got to live so when you call him, he'll come. Yes. He's not going to come any kind of way. But we can be like, here's the guy. Call him a favor. Say to God, you ought to live so anytime you need God. Yes. See, like if you come in slow, say, God, I need you to help me. I'm calling him a favor. You know how I walk for you. You know how I live for you, Lord. I need you. I need you right now. We need to tell God we need you. We need you. We need you right now. But God will come. God will come, y'all. God came to Hezekiah rescue. And he delivered Hezekiah. It didn't say what was wrong with Hezekiah. A lot of people try to say what was wrong with him. But we don't know what was wrong with Hezekiah. But here's a guy who lives so yes. he can call them a favor. Yes. And that's the way we got to live. We got to walk up right, y'all. Yes. But yes. for the young people. We say the church is losing the young people. But this yes. thing started at home. You got to live right at home. Jesus. Jesus. You got to live right at home. Yes. If you live in sin, your children gonna live in sin. My Lord. If you act like trash, your children don't act like trash. My Lord. And then you say, well, oh, they're getting all of that off the phone, all of it off the page, but they're getting it out of the house. Yeah. You go to have rule over your own house. Glory. You go to tell your children what they can do and what they can't do. Amen. That's right. Amen. 
If we don't, we'll never be like Hilda guy. We'll never be able what we can call them the faith. We let our children do anything they want to do. Say anything they want to say. Right. Sometimes people say, well, you say things because your children is grown. Both of us sitting in here. My children was not even allowed to call one another a liar in my house. Amen. Not in my house. You won't call one another a liar. If they did, they better be behind my back. For right. oh, why? I'm saved. And I had rules. And the way you raise your children, the way they going to be. I tell the Lord, I want, I want my children saved, I want my grandchildren saved, I want my great grand saved. But I ain't none of their mom. Now my only grandchildren, they come to church because they had to come. <coughs> Jadisha was in church every Sunday. Yes, was. And if they were in my house on Friday night, they would be on Friday night too. <laughs> you stay in my house, you're going to church. If you don't want to go to church, you better not have nothing to do with me, or you going to church. <laughs> I got the rock in me, y'all. I, I, I ain't standing on the rock, but I got the rock in me. Amen. We got to have rules, y'all. Right. Y'all might say that ain't part of her mess, but we got to have rules. Right. If I talk to your grandchildren, I'm talking to mine too. Right. We got to have rules. If you live like the devil, they gonna live like the devil. Amen. You cuss every time you say something, they gonna cuss. That's true. Then they go to school and get a teacher a hard time. You can be smart, but you can't never make it no worse with a bad attitude. Yeah, that's true. No lie. I know how children live. I got a six-year-old in my house, and she thinks she's sixty-five. <laughs> Y'all gonna see her one day, she gonna come in here and her arm might be in a cast. <laughs> you ain't gonna put Y'all if y'all sit back there and talk that joke if you want. Y'all don't know me, I don't play all that me. Oh yes. I, I, I can't stand to hear a child talk back. Amen. I you stop. I can't stand it. I know that's right. I'm telling you, I can't stand it. Amen. It makes my blood boil. Oh, no. You get the right thing in you, you won't you, you laugh at a lot of things, too. That's right. But God is calling them. When you don't look at how the churches have fell away, people that was in church, now they don't go to church. Because they done got comfortable. But now it's time to run towards the church, y'all. And tell God to sit on the living. Thank you for joining us here at Clinton Chapel of Praises virtual church. We pray that a song that was sang, perhaps the sermon that was preached, or the lesson that was taught was a blessing to you and yours. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and we would like to take this time to extend him to you. The Bible declares that if you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that God raised Christ from the dead, that you shall be saved. That's right, it's just that easy, believing and confessing. I would like to tell you that this way may not be easy. Therefore, we recommend that you find yourself a good Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. There's strength among saints, and you cannot live this life by yourself. Now, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take a moment to pray to God. Some people say, I don't know how to pray, but it's just this simple. Just take time and have a small conversation with God and tell God that you're tired of the way you're living, you're tired of the things you're doing. And believe me, I promise you that this day will be the best day and it will begin a walk that you will never regret. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, we thank you for that soul that has just chosen you to be their Lord and Savior. Father, we want you to do a new work within them, clean them, change them, and God, let them have the desire to further themselves with you. And God, we thank you, and we love you, and we know that all things, and we give all things are done by you and through you, and we give your name praise. And believe me, saints, 
Now, the angels in heaven are rejoicing because you came to Christ. And not only are the angels rejoicing, but I and we here at Clinton Chapel are rejoicing along with you. Now listen to me. You take the Lord along with you everywhere you go. Shalom. You may join us here at Clinton Chapel of Praise for any of our services. Every Sunday at 9.45 a.m. we have Sunday School. At 11 a.m. morning worship. At Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. we have prayer and Bible study. And if you would like to donate, you may do so by cash app dollar sign CCOP Church. Thank you for worshiping with us.